Course closed without warning. The golf carts are grounded for good at Cahoon Plantation. Many golfers greeted by a sign telling them the Chesapeake course is closed for good. It's not just golfers taken back by the sudden closure. Residents in the surrounding Eagle Point development are worried over what will happen to them next. 13 News Now reporter Robert Boyd joins us with a story all new tonight. Well, David, that community is 55 years and up, and many of those residents say they just moved there for the golf course. And now that it's closed, they are in fear their property values and quality of life will be jeopardized. Joan Benson says the best part about living in Eagle Point at Cahoon Plantation is the golf course, and she doesn't even golf. We moved here because of the golf course, because we like uh, the openness and if we had to give up a privacy of our backyard that this gave us that sense of of uh, green and the water and we walk a lot and it's beautiful. But on Monday Benson along with about 1,000 of her neighbors were saddened to find this note on the Cahoon Plantation Clubhouse door. Due to uncontrollable circumstances we regretfully are closed permanently. What will happen if they sell it and it becomes developed property and how that will impact us. The golf course is privately owned, completely separate from the senior community, which leaves residents feeling helpless. We don't know anything more than you all know. Uh, it was a surprise to us, too. Sue Stanley is on the Eagle Point Board of Directors. She acknowledged golf course owner Wallace Cahoon has every right to sell the land to a developer. Residents are concerned their views of greens and fairways could be replaced by parking lots and office buildings. The people that are right on the golf course paid extra for their property, and so obviously that's a loss. While resident Wayne Parrish is curious what the course will look like if nothing happens. Growth of, of weeds and letting it go, and will uh, Wallace Cahoon keep it up? I don't know, uh, I certainly hope so. Parrish says the majority of the community is holding out hope that whoever buys the land keeps it just like it is. It's a wonderful course. It's one of the best courses in, uh, in, in Tidewater. And somebody who marketed it properly could uh, can make money off of it. Now, we, we reached out to the golf course management, but they did not return our calls. Live in the studio, Robert Boyd, 13 News Now.